Hurricane Helene has rapidly intensified, posing a significant threat to the southeastern United States, particularly Florida and Georgia. This powerful storm demands immediate attention and preparation from residents in potentially affected areas. Coastal communities are particularly vulnerable to Helene's projected storm surge, high winds and heavy rainfall. Evacuations may become necessary in certain areas, highlighting the need for residents to stay informed and have a plan in place. Ignoring the warnings could have dire consequences. Residents in Florida and Georgia must take this threat seriously and begin preparations immediately. Delaying action could put lives and property at risk. Families should discuss their emergency plans and ensure they have the necessary supplies. The safety and well-being of everyone in the path of the storm depend on proactive measures. Hurricane Helene is currently a Category 3 hurricane with sustained winds nearing 120 miles per hour. The storm is moving northwest and is expected to make landfall within the next 48 hours. The precise location of landfall remains uncertain, but current projections suggest a high probability of impact along the Florida coast, potentially affecting Georgia as well. Warm ocean waters are fueling Helene's strength, and forecasters predict it could become a Category 4 hurricane before making landfall. This increase in intensity would amplify the potential for devastating impacts, including higher storm surges, more powerful winds, and increased rainfall. Residents should be prepared for the worst-case scenario. Coastal areas could experience a surge of 6 to 10 feet, potentially inundating low-lying areas. Residents in vulnerable areas should heed evacuation orders and move to higher ground. Staying informed about the storm's trajectory and intensity is crucial for making informed decisions about safety and evacuation. State governments in Florida and Georgia have declared states of emergency in anticipation of Hurricane Helene's impact. This declaration enables the mobilization of resources and personnel to prepare for and respond to the storm's effects. Emergency management agencies are coordinating efforts with local authorities to ensure a swift and effective response. Evacuation orders are being issued for vulnerable coastal areas. Residents in these areas are strongly urged to comply with evacuation orders and seek safe shelter. Shelters are being set up to accommodate evacuees, and resources are being mobilized to assist with transportation. Emergency response teams are being deployed to strategic locations to be ready to assist with search and rescue efforts, debris removal, and the restoration of essential services. These teams are trained to handle the challenges posed by a major hurricane. The government is working closely with utility companies to prepare for potential power outages. Restoration crews are being positioned to respond quickly to restore power once the storm has passed. Section 4, Pinellas County, a focus on preparedness. Pinellas County, Florida is particularly vulnerable to the impacts of Hurricane Helene due to its location on a peninsula. Residents in Pinellas County are strongly urged to take immediate precautions and prepare for the storm's arrival. Mandatory evacuations are already in effect for certain areas of Pinellas County. Residents in these areas must evacuate immediately to ensure their safety. Designated evacuation routes and shelters are being publicized, and residents should familiarize themselves with these resources. Local authorities in Pinellas County are actively preparing for the storm. Emergency shelters are being opened, and sandbag distribution centers are operating to help residents protect their properties. Pinellas County residents should ensure they have a sufficient supply of essential items, including water, non-perishable food, medications, and first aid supplies. Section 5. Practical Steps for Resident Safety Prepare a disaster supply kit containing essential items such as water, non-perishable food, medications, first aid supplies, flashlights, batteries, and a portable radio. This kit should be readily accessible and contain enough supplies to last for several days. Develop an evacuation plan that includes designated evacuation routes, transportation arrangements, and a predetermined meeting place for family members. Knowing where to go and how to get there is essential in the event of an evacuation order. Secure your property by boarding up windows, bringing loose objects indoors, and trimming trees and branches that could pose a danger during high winds. Taking these precautions can help minimize damage to your home. Stay informed about the storm's progress by monitoring local news updates, weather reports, and official advisories. Heeding warnings and advisories can save lives. Section 6. Staying informed, your lifeline during the storm. Local news outlets are providing continuous coverage of Hurricane Helene, offering up-to-the-minute updates on the storm's track, intensity, and potential impact. Tuning into these broadcasts is essential for staying informed about the evolving situation. The National Hurricane Center provides official forecasts, advisories, and warnings about Hurricane Helene. Checking their website or social media channels regularly is crucial for getting the latest information about the storm's development. 
emergency management agencies in Florida and Georgia are disseminating vital information through their websites, social media platforms, and emergency alert systems. Signing up for these alerts can provide timely warnings and instructions during the storm. Social media can also be a valuable tool for staying informed during a hurricane, but it's important to verify information from unofficial sources with official sources like the National Hurricane Center and local authorities. Misinformation can spread quickly during emergencies, so relying on credible sources is paramount.